All right, so today I'm going to try something new. This is uh, another trip out, venturing to uh, get ready for fill day. And I thought I would, I've been wanting to get a solar panel, but I wanted to use it for alternative power during fill day so we can get extra points. I picked myself up after a lot of research, maybe not the best. I picked up a Solar King. Did I say it right? No, King Solar. This is a 60 watt solar panel. It's very light, smaller than an iPad Pro. What do you want? Smaller than an iPad Pro, okay? 60 watt. <laughs> so one thing to keep in mind with any of these is they're rated, for example, at working temperature is minus 20 degrees Celsius to minus 60 degrees Celsius. So realistically, you're never gonna run at that temperature. So you're never going to get the amperage that these things are rated for. You're going to get probably about half. I'm going to take this guy out with my Yaesi radio. And my Yaesi radio right now, I set it so that it shows the voltage that the radio is currently at. The battery in the radio is currently at that voltage. Now I'm using the stock batteries, just the nickel metal hydride. Now this particular pack that I got here has just got a regulator on it. It does not have an MPPT. So it is not the best, um, but it was reasonably priced. My goal is, will a $120 to $160 solar panel run your Yaesu radio by itself with no additional charged battery packs? And can you take it out and do a soda or any of those kind of things and just have this, your antenna, and your radio and be good without an additional battery? And so when we get done, we're going to go out to the lake. I'm going to set up an antenna, set up the solar panel, no additional batteries, just the ones that are in the unit. And we're going to see how much we lose on the batteries or how much we might gain. Will we get enough power to actually charge those batteries? It seems to be a little dark out today, maybe. This is just the initial test to see if this thing can keep up with what the radio demands. We are now running on solar. Completely on solar. And I just picked somebody up on a channel here. So the antenna is just string out with two stakes. 20 meter. Now my SWR is slightly off. I'll show you that here in a little bit. Uh, I am getting a two to one. My cable's a little short. I'll show you what I mean. So if you can see that. Um, we're a little off. Uh, I'm resonating at about 400. My antenna is a little short, but I'm not going to worry about that for today. So it's not exactly where I need it to be, but uh, it'll work. I'm going to adjust it maybe a little later if it gives me issues. Now notice the voltage, it's 14.4 volts. Now as this panel gets hotter, that voltage is going to drop down. It's just now, I just now set it out. But we are definitely charging. Uh, you see the little charge LED. So I'm going to tune in this guy. Turn the attenuation on. Twenty miles north of uh, Seattle, uh, right near one of the uh, Boeing facilities that make the uh, 747 and the 777. <laughs> Now remember, I started all this with only 10 volts, so we'll see where we're at at the end of the day. Yeah. I got my, uh, my copy, but uh, I found uh, when I'm preparing for the extra, I was copying a solid 25 on W1AW and uh, pushing 30, you know. Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra. So, being as I'm only running 5 watts and my SWR is clearly, as you saw there, not, yeah, well, not yeah. where it needs to be, yeah, I'm going to yeah, scrounge up some more water and extend this wire a little bit. Yeah. 
Okay, so this should be a little better. I just added about uh, three inches to each side. And now you can see I'm real close to being... It's not quite dead center of the 20 meter band, but it's pretty close. So it's pretty close to 1.3 in that area. So let's give that a shot. Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra. Well, you can see my SWR is really clear now. It's like not even registering on the thing. So that's good. Let's change it over to power. So we can see if we're going out full power. Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra, QRP. Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra, QRP. QBD will be off the frequency for a while. Charlie Oka, Charlie Oka, Zika Alpha, Kilo Echo. Fire Band Q, Bravo, Bravo, you copy Charlie Oka, Zika Alpha, Kilo Echo. Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra, QRP, I copy. Papaya Pancho, bravo, bravo, papi. You copy Charlie, Oscar, Zik, Alpha, Chulaco. Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra, QRP. Charlie Sierra. Okay, what is the name? John, my name is John here in Newton, Iowa. Okay, John, uh, very good. Uh, W2GOR here. Name is Gordon. My name is Kilowatt in the dipole here in San Francisco. Trying out our new uh, K3F. And you're a good uh, solid F5, Roger. Wow, you're a, you're a 5'9". I'm really surprised you're hearing me. I'm on a makeshift 20 meter that's about a foot and a half off the ground running 5 watts off a solar panel. Five watts? Yes, sir. Oh, good. Well, I'm receiving you on a very nice antenna. It's a shared apex loop antenna on the ground. It's four delta loops, and I got uh, it beaming E, so it's helping a little bit. But even on a dipole, you are making the trip, over. Awesome, awesome. Well, you definitely have a 5.9. What did you say you were reading me at again? QSB got you, still there? Yeah, yeah, uh, you, I definitely have you at 5.9. Um, what did you say you got me at again? I lost you there, my friend. Okay, 73, I'll give you back the frequency. Yeah. All right, so... W2GOR, clear. Clear. Um, yeah, you can hear this guy. So you, you could hear that other guy talking and that was creating a lot of noise so he couldn't hear me over that guy. Obviously, I'm running 5 watts on an antenna that's 2 feet off the ground which technically shouldn't even work, I don't think. But that was, I think he said, to San Francisco. I'll have to go back and listen to the video again. Hopefully I got his call in there. He did have a really good antenna, obviously. Um, there is somebody selling these antennas, you know, just this little banana connector, banana clip connector thing. With two wires and selling for 20 bucks. Um, I bought the banana thing for that little, this little thing here. I bought that for literally like two bucks. 
Now the thing to keep in mind is I have an SWR meter, so that I literally, like you saw, I mean, I'm I'm very resonant where I'm at with this antenna, but there's the way he's selling it is where you would plug it right into your radio, and I don't, I just don't think it's very effective at two feet. I should have, I mean, I've been working at this for how long? We've we been here, Mike. Uh, about an hour. Yeah, I've been trying to reach people for about an hour. 14 hours. 14 hours? Well, while some of them were in, in the sounds like the Philippines, or not the Philippines, but uh, out in the islands somewhere, uh, which would be several thousand miles from me. Um, but uh, a lot of people aren't hearing me. Of course, it's a contest day, so, you know, obviously five watts is not going to be heard over 20 other thousand people trying to call in. But uh, I was heard. Um, it does work. I'm going to keep going. And uh, I'm running out of battery on my camera, so I may not document my other calls, but I will let you know at the end of the day how many more I get. All right, 73, KE0 LCS.